we doing the video? Yeah. Oh, we're doing the video now. Yay, the video. Right. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm here with Chris Peranta. You know him from the movie 13 Hours, uh, the story of Benghazi. And uh, so, uh, anyway, great meeting you. Yeah, we were just reminiscing of we served under the same dude in the second range of battalion, the greatest range of battalion. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely greatest. Third and first, you guys are okay. Nice right. try. You no, know, just kidding. Your brothers, your family. Uh, so, uh, Chris is uh, inspiration to different people out there, and he's got a good message. He's helping a lot of young rangers and a lot of people, a lot of people coming up. So, if you had a message for any young military guys, uh, you know, what would you say to them? You're being, you're you're going going to go, step yeah, if you, sure, if you want to go in the military, if you're looking at this thing, is work hard. Always, you got to put others first. Always, you got to be willing to sacrifice, whether it be your career. And in certain cases, like Ty and Bob did that night, sometimes it's your life. Um, if you're not willing to step up and say, you know what, I'm going to be more than just myself. I'm going to put that person, my brother, uh, he's going to be in front of me so he can go home. Not taking a bullet, of course, but I'm putting his, his values and his life in front of mine. And I'm going to take that bullet for him, then, then don't go in. Um, speaking to a fellow ranger here, who he, don't let this guy fool you. He's a 2 set fire, the best guy in the world. Sergeant Rothke, my two sergeant, his first sergeant. What we learned from that man. That man was a true ranger because he always put him. He always put himself in the line of fire whenever to take care of his boys. And I learned a lot from him, even in my short time with Sergeant Rothke. So if you get this, Sergeant Rothke, I apologize for becoming an officer. I shouldn't have left you. I remember that meeting where you said, "Don't you owe me more time?" I remember Sergeant Rothke. You know what? But you did teach me great things, and it carried over into Libya. 9/11, 2000. Sure. Uh, Chris Pronto, war proven vet. He's got my respect and he's doing a lot to help other people, not just himself. He's helping other people, and that's why I immediately ran up to him, not just as a Ranger buddy, uh, but as a man with a message. So check him out. And, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. See you. God bless you. Uh -huh.